2 o'clock in the morning, the blink camera went off. The video shows three people in a Lago Vista neighborhood opening the doors to Stephen Kelleher's truck and rummaging through it. They took everything. Including clothes, Christmas presents, money, military memorabilia, his ID, and medication to help keep him alive. It's basically like my house was in there. Kelleher is a disabled Army veteran who had a liver transplant in 2019. I've been trying to help people like ever since. He says he volunteers with Team Rubicon, a veteran led nonprofit that helps communities during disasters. Um, we cut the way in for emergency vehicles to get in and out to save people, hurricanes, tornadoes, any type of disaster. He says he travels often with them. That's why so many of his belongings were in his truck at the time. Taking everything that somebody has is horrible. Kelleher says he lives to help people, but has now become a victim. I go help people that I never met before, old, young, never seen them. We just pull up to them. And I go there long before I see them. If somebody I see needs help or ask for help, I would have literally given them all the same stuff out of my truck if they just asked for it. <laughs> like, I literally work to volunteer and help people. I live life to help people and to see the opposite happens pretty bad. As more people become victims, police are reminding people to lock, take, hide. So lock your car, uh, take your keys with you, hide anything that's in the vehicle so it's not in plain view.